The new month begins with a lot of new names coming to the Colts complex. The team made it through draft weekend with some rave reviews for their picks. Brad Brown has more on how it all came together. Las Vegas is a city built on gambling, so it seems almost appropriate the Colts placed their first bets in last weekend's draft on red and black. The colors of the Cincinnati Bearcats and first round pick Alec Pierce. You know, I think I'm a guy that you can you can put to the boundary and I'm able to be be coverage one on one um, with speed, with speed and size, be able to go up and get the ball, um, be able to stretch the field vertically and, you know, hopefully make them have to play with safeties over the top and open up the run game. One of the things I like on his tape is I like him outside. Um, I think he's very good versus press. I think he's got length and vertical speed to get down the field. It was a draft that saw the Colts take care of some obvious needs, an offensive lineman with a ton of potential, two defensive frontmen, a couple of DBs in the later rounds, and along with Pierce, they added a pair of tight ends, some athletic options for new quarterback Matt Ryan. There is no depth chart. We're just competing. You know, we're rolling, going to roll guys through. I mean, it's the NFL in a sense. Everybody knows that's the way. That's what's great about these guys. They all know that we're going to put the best guys on the field. After having to sit out round one, the Colts made a move to shuffle picks after that. Another draft where GM Chris Ballard stayed aggressive. One of our big objectives was we wanted to add a, you know, as many good young talented players as we could to create as much competition as we could. Look, we all know what makes people better, having to compete. Among the free agent signings, the Colts will bring in former Notre Dame quarterback Jack Cohn, another arm for the preseason workouts and perhaps their next backup. Running back C.J. Verdell had a solid career going at Oregon before a broken leg ended his 2021 season early, but he will compete for Indy's third running back spot. I always start with the mentality like, hey, we, we don't need any draft picks. We're, we're good. <laughs> Anything we get in the draft is a bonus. I really feel like that. Like, I, I don't make that up. I, I, I really do feel that way. Um, but that being said, you know, there's other, uh, there's a lot of players that I'm telling, you know, Chris and I are talking about, I love that guy, or, you know, I'm listening to what Chris and his staff are saying and we're engaging and, oh, love that guy. Yeah, I see it the exact same way or this. So um, when we get to add pieces, it's fun. The new group will get together for their first official set of workouts next week. Time for one more break. The news at six continues next on WRTV.